Namaste guys. In this video, we are going to learn how to make this mechanism in SOLIDWORKS. So, let's start. So, click on design library. Click on toolbox. Click on add in now. Click on NSI metric. Click on power transmission. Click on gears. So, I am going to use spur gear and drag and spur. Okay. So, drag and drop the spur gear. Let's increase the module size and decrease the number of teeth. Uh, I think this much is fine and increase the width. Uh, 25 is fine. Uh, let's increase the whole diameter. Click OK. Before I click OK, make sure that you remember what is the module that you have used because whatever the gear I am going to use to, uh, to make this gear, they must have same module else they will not with each other properly. So click OK. Close this. Now drag and drop this per gear. Now increase this to 3. Uh, you can increase or decrease the length as per your requirement like this. But I recommend increase length at a higher level. Uh, let's make it 600. Okay, uh, let's try it. face width, let's say 10 mm. And click OK. I need two, so simply use this. Click OK. So, how should I approach now? So, first thing that I'm going to do is select the top plane of the assembly click on sketch you can see everything is you know uh, unwanted place random place so i want to make it correct so what i'm going to do is i'm drawing a simple sketch simple line and exit the sketch mode now i'm going to use mates so select this face and this face concentric click ok notice a issue is popping up ok why it's that Okay, by default, when you import your gear libraries, this one, especially the first part, it is fixed. Other part can be, you know, move, movable part, but the first part is fixed. So, how to resolve it? Right click, float. Now, if I try, you can see, I can now move it as well. So, select this one and this one. Notice it's working. Make sure it is concentric. Click OK. Select this face and the front plane click ok select this face press ctrl plus 8 so put the teeth here exactly go to the maze select this face and this face uh, not in that manner but we can work on it and uh, let's add some distance here for making you know make it much better five mm two point five mm I guess. click OK and Select this face, select the top plane, click on distance, uh, Put 
43 pounds for it. Uh, if you want to know what to know exactly what should be the exact distance from it, I recommend you know you check out my course on Udemy because I have mathematically explained there uh, how to find exact distance from this face to uh, you know center of it and that is the you know industry standard but you know I am just saving my time that is the reason I am choosing randomly because that method takes more time so that is the reason so click ok now uh, You can find the course link in description, uh, my Udemy course. Uh, that one is not free, but yeah, it's fully worth of the every penny. Just like this face and this face, make it parallel. Click OK. Okay, it's like this face and this face. Click on distance uh, five. Click OK. Select this face and the top plane. Distance 33.5. Click OK. Select, select the face. Press Ctrl plus L. Uh, therefore, I do any kind of mating. Let's move it there. I think that much is fine. So I can move. You know, when I rotate, this one is move, move this side, and this one move this side. So what I have to do is to make sure it work on rotating. Uh, I will use something called rack and pinion. So go to the mechanical rack and pinion. So it is asking what is the, uh, which one is rack. So this one is rack. Which one is pinion? Uh, this one is. But uh, I recommend you know you select the pitch circle diameter. Else I have to make you know calculation here and, and I don't want to. So I will click on here and on this one. Uh, so click on show press control plus sorry you see this line this is called pitch circle diameter so select this one click ok uh, let's see it is working or not uh, it is working but in a wrong way so what should you what should you do uh, so right click uh, Reverse. Okay. Uh, you see it's working. And correctly. After that, I will again use uh, rack and pinion. First, first thing I ask for rack. After that, pinion. In pinion, it is always asking for the pitch circle diameter. Not you know selecting this phase. No, that is not the correct way. Uh, just check out my course note me you know it has more bit, uh, detail there plus two plus eight mm, and check the reverse one uh, press control that first Sorry, right. Just asking for the rack. Then pinion. Click OK. So let's see if it is working or not. Yeah, it's working. That is basically what I want. Now, next thing is that I have to make uh, doors. So, how should I approach it? So, let's see. Uh, first, let's move these gears to near about location. I think this one is fine. 
Now click on insert components, click on new part and just you know keep in mind that all these parts are made in assembly mode and when you click on new part what you have to do is don't click here, click on here and click on the front plane. Press Ctrl plus 8 for normal speed the view. So I'm going to make something called our doors. It's up to you how big or you know wide you want to make. It's up to your requirements. 500 by 250 mm. This is uh, you know good for me. So I'm happy with it. So 10 mm thickness is fine, more than enough for me. And let's add a you know a simple cut here so you you know that we can find out here whether it, you know it look like something like that. And click on exit that is a component mode. So I will make one more. Select the front plane. Uh, some people are wondering that why don't I don't use you know mirror command. Uh, you can use it, but you know because of this door knob, it will be issue if it is if it is what not there. I will simply use that, but because of the door knob, uh, you know it will take a longer time to use the mates and other parts. So it is quite easier for me to make just like this. Five hundred by two fifty. Five hundred that trick. Now we have doors. Uh, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use mates, select this face and this face, make them coincide. After uh, press control that's another select this face and select the right plane. Click OK. Similarly, select this face and select this face. Click OK. Notice they are closed, and it is basically what I want. And after that, what? Before I move forward, I have to increase the thickness of it. So my bad. They are quite thin, you know. So my trouble at one point. Click OK. Exit. Uh, similarly, select this one. Twenty. Exit. Uh, notice a traffic light icon. So click on rebuild. This is called rebuild icon. Okay. And go to the mate. Select this face and this face. Click OK. Uh, one thing that I have to do is remember these two mates that I have used. So select this one, press F2 and type tab 1. Because I am going to remove them, they are just temporary reasons. Okay, you know, just align it correctly. That's that's the that's the reason they are here. Nothing else. Now I have to make some parts. So let's see how should I approach. So, click on insert components, click on new part, select this face, press ctrl plus 8. 
Okay, one more thing that I forgot to mention that whenever I make part in assembly, most of the time, majority time. I always click on no external references else you will face a lot of issues you know while doing animation part or you will get unwanted weird results so yeah make sure that you keep in mind so, first direction click ok actually there is some component more oh 5m is but fine Oh, this one is 5M is fine, okay. So, select this one. Uh, right click 5M. By the way, if it is a 5MM, MM, you know, metal, that will be, you know, very a long time metal. You, it means it has a big uh, big life as compared to 2.5MM. You know, fatigue. Now I have to make one more. After that, I guess we are done. And deleting some mates, that's also left. So select this face, press control plus A. Okay, as I said, I'm going to more. Okay, we can slide this face and this face. I have to increase the thickness of it. Okay, why did I want to show that? Where are those tab? Let's look for a tab that I have created temporary. Right click and suppress. Right click tab one suppress. Because I don't want them. I just want you know for to align the correct place. That's all. They have no more more than that purpose. That's the only purpose they are there. Click on direction tool. Click on Select this face, press control press it. If I rotate this one. No 
what is working let's make a duplicate door like we make fake smile in our life I'm making a wall you know Just to make sure it's going to copy. Exit this. Uh, I noticed there are num some showing on sketch. So right click and hide. Hide your fall like you hide your pins in life. like this one uh, so will it be move in this direction uh, I think it should be move in a positive direction or what you can do is I have a better way if I use you know circular uh, motor mate the uh, problem issue with that is that I need to know how much should I need to rotate uh, so I need to do calculation and I don't want to do that question really right now. So what I can do, I click on motor, click on linear motor this time. Select this face and go on here at distance. If you remember correctly, when I make this door, it is 250 mm width. So I will simply enter that. Click OK. And if I click on calculate, voila, it's working. And let's increase the FPS so you know it it will look better. Click at FPS now zoom in especially here. So if I go and calculate you can see how does it one more thing I can't able to zoom in oh, so right click this one. Now I can zoom in, zoom out while animation is done. Notice. That's a good thing. And I will select this one and change transparency. You know, little bit transparent. Mm. Let's give them some colors. So I will go to the materials. Metal will be painted this best. Painted this best, I guess. Sprayed. Uh, metallic cool gray. Yeah. So yeah, that's for all. So I hope you learned something from this video. But if you want to learn more about how to make mechanical mechanism in SolidWorks or you know in more detail and depth level, I highly recommend check out my Udemy course or you can check my free course on SolidWorks that's on YouTube. Uh, that will be also beneficial for you. So that's for all. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.